Greetings, I'm Zorch, and tonight I'm playing Snowdonia, and this is number eight in my series, where I'm going to be playing every Snowdonia scenario consecutively. Tonight I'm playing the Brock Urban scenario, and it comes packaged with the Necropolis Railway scenario. In this scenario, instead of rubble, all of the brown cubes actually represent fallen trees. And this fact is important because you can actually burn these cubes to get coal to power your trains. And you'll notice I say trains, plural, because in this scenario you get two trains. The scenario itself comes with four new trains. Uh, I picked one of those at random and then I paired it with the Foundry Loco from the Jungfraubahn scenario. And I picked that one because it's another German train. I thought it fit in with the overall scenario nicely. Another unique addition is the fact that we are going to have two extra workers instead of the normal one. And the move surveyor action has been replaced by another stockyard action. And this time you can actually put two workers into it to get one steel bar. This helps to bypass some of the visitations to the works. And the works has changed a bit. You can spend two of the fallen logs cubes to get one coal for your train. And you can also go there to move up to five of the fallen logs into your lumber mill. And that's important because you can't actually use the fallen logs to build on any of these new station spaces until it's in your lumber mill. I should note that the Foundry Loco actually lets me do five conversions at the works instead of the normal three. And the unique ability of the other Brocklerbahn train is that I get plus one to my work rate. For this scenario, I've also thrown in the six, seven, and zero track values, which come with this particular scenario and the Necropolis Railway. Everything else? Pretty much the same. A game ends whenever we get to the last track piece and it gets flipped over, or whenever I run out of my ownership cubes. Well, right off the bat, I am going to pay an extra coal to get my extra worker. If I had another coal, I'd be able to get another one, but I don't this time, so I'm just going to deal with this. I am going to collect some resources at the stockyard. I am going to actually cut down and... Uh, haul out some of these trees, which is what the excavation site represents in this one. And I'm also going to grab a contract. I will grab a coal and two iron for my trouble. I should probably point out now too that whenever the train maintenance event happens I need to have two iron bars otherwise I'll have to lose one of my trains. I will also get... let's see, I get to dig out two plus one, I'm going to remember that this time, three logs, and I am going to take a contract. And I'm going to take this guy here and hope I can remember to use it. We move on to the weather. Fog is going to be an issue in this game. We're using the standard fog rules. Nothing else changes. Do our draw. Oops. And we get one event already. There was nothing I could do about it. You saw it. So, first thing that happens is two cards worth are removed. That's lumber I just won't be able to use. I just noticed from reading through the rules that I think you start this scenario with one iron bar. I don't know if that applies to the solo game, but I could use all the help I can get, so I'm going to add it in. Another interesting feature of the Brockroban trains is that you can actually use wood when you move it across from your stock into your lumber mill to get your extra worker next turn. And with this train, I would have to do four pieces of lumber to be able to do that. It's foggy this turn, so I don't think I'm going to get that much done. I believe I'm going to collect some resources and do it again and stock up a bit. So I will definitely get another coal along with two iron for my first guy. And my other guy will get... oh why not? Two more iron and a stone. That'll be the end of that round, so we move on to the weather again. Fog goes away. Rainy day today. And some sun. Draw our cubes. Wow. Yeah, that couldn't have gone any worse. So... Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, okay, that shouldn't have gone out. Alright, so... First... Organize our things here, and then we deal with this mess. So first we have 
a train event which does nothing. That's good. Then we lay some track, which is not bad because it only does one. And we finish a station, and that's annoying because that's the station finished. That's sad, but what can you do? It's early in the game, so it's not terrible. Well, I think this round I am going to clean up some trees, and then I'm going to do some conversions. And uh, I will use my special ability of my train to get this extra cube, because the work rate is only one. And now I've got four cubes here. So I am going to move those into my lumber mill, which actually will get me an extra worker next turn. And because I am executing the uh, stockyard actions, I can also convert these six cubes into two iron bars. Now it's a little bit of a waste because the Foundry Loco actually, Loco actually lets me do two more of these actions, but there's nothing to be done. I don't have anything else to convert. So that's the end of that round. Fog comes back, which makes me sad. And we'll have more sun though, so that's good. And we go to the bag again. Okay, good. I, I thought I couldn't have two terrible draws in a row, but you never know, really. This is going to be a rough turn. There's so much fog, I can't chop down any trees. I can't convert anything because I don't have any more resources. And I can't build anything because I haven't uh, excavated my way out into another station yet. almost don't even need this extra worker. But I'll make use of him by having him go off and getting a contract. And I guess I will just send these other two guys to pick up some stuff. Well, at least I'll be loaded up on the resources. I'll be rolling in iron bars, which sounds painful. All right, so one of these guys I will get three stone. And then I'm tempted to get more stone, even. There would be some easy points, but I really wouldn't be able to use them until later. I think instead I will get three iron. And then with this worker, I will get this contract. Ah, you thought I was going for the big one, didn't you? Not this time. So, on to the weather. Oh, the fog goes away. And we get some more resources. Alright. I was actually kind of hoping I'd get that event out of the way so I can take care of the extra iron bars. I am definitely sending my train down to get my extra worker. And I am going to dig two times and lay some track. And I think I have this planned out, right? First, I will excavate. I will actually be able to clean up eight pieces of lumber. So that's three, six, seven, eight. Good, very good. And then I am gonna do a big move. I am going to lay some track and I am going to exhaust this contract, which will let me lay another piece of track which is going to use all three of my iron bars. One, two, and then this big seven point piece of track here. This is risky because I am in danger of losing a train, but thankfully not both of them because I happen to have this contract which I can discard instead of losing a train. All right, workers come back. Weather. And events. No, no events. Just resources. Resources only. Oh, shucks. Well, I didn't lose a train, though. So, lots of coal. And excavation. Oh, I didn't move my... Didn't move my weather. So, these guys are like this. This goes up, and this goes up. All right. So now, that means that I'm going to have to dig out four spaces. One, two, three, four. It's a good thing I dug when I did. Well, I'm going to burn this coal to get my third worker. And then I'm going to gather two times. And I believe I'm going to convert one time. 
up, up to five actually. So first, these guys both come back. They should both have a coal. I should do them one at a time. I get less confused that way. So one coal, two iron, then another coal, another iron, and a stone. There we go. So now I convert. So I will use my action to move over five uh, logs, which will let me get my next man on the next turn. Uh, and then I actually still have four conversions left, and I'm going to do three of them to turn nine cubes into three iron bars. I don't have enough resources to do another conversion, so he comes home. And we'll move on to the weather. And good. Lots of cubes in here. That's what I like to see. Or feel. Oh, not that it's doing me any good. Alright. So here's our iron. We have our train event. And I want to keep that contract card, so I will pay both of these iron bars to keep both of my trains. I have a lot that I want to do this turn, but I don't think I need my extra guy to do it. So... I will, actually, maybe I will. I will burn a coal to get my extra man, and now I've got four to use this turn, which is pretty crazy. So I will gather some resources. I am going to lay some track, and I'm going to build two times. There's a lot of work going on. So first, I will gather up a coal and two stone. Then I will lay one piece of track, here, using my last iron bar to do it. And now I'm going to use four of my refined lumber to build into this seven point space. And I will then use three rock to build into this five point space. I'm a little sad I didn't grab this guy would have been 24 points I probably could have gotten, but I guess we'll have to see how many track I've got. Alright, so more rain. So the work rate plunges down again. We go to the bag, and see what it tells us. Hey, nothing but good things this time. I am definitely spending a coal to get an extra worker. I'm doing pretty good with uh, my events. I think I'm going to make sure I send the guy down to at least attempt to stay ahead of the event cubes and manage some of the things in the bag. And I am going to... I believe I'm going to clear out two times. So, first I will grab another coal and two iron. Then I get to dig out... well clear out two, four, uh, six pieces of lumber. So that's uh, three, four, five, six, which is good. Replenish this. All right, to the weather. And it looks like I'm going to have to shuffle, so I will do that. All right, replenished. And more rain. Well, on, in the future anyway. So sun today, though. Which is good news. We do our draw. Cross our fingers here. All right, excellent. That one white cube can just stay in there. Oh, I got a lot of coal, so I will definitely get at least one worker. And I think that if I do a conversion action, I'll be able to get another worker next turn. What else am I going to do? I will also gather two times, and then convert. Hmm, let me look at the contracts real quick. I didn't really pay attention when I was setting them up. Yeah, they're tempting, but I don't think I want any of them. So I'm gonna go with this build and see what happens. Uh, let's see, I get uh, my guys back. So first I'm gonna collect one coal and two iron. And then with my other guy, I will get two more iron and one stone. And then I will convert, and first I will haul up five pieces 
of lumber, which will give me my extra worker. And, ooh, I could do it again and get another worker for free. But I don't think I will. Uh, so that was one conversion action, and here's two more. Converting six iron into two steel bars. And I think that'll do it. So, on to the weather. Which is going to get very sloppy and nasty here. Oh, extremely so. So, everything goes down. So, we do our draw. I don't know if I can keep getting lucky here. Ooh, aww. No such. So, uh, we have our lay track event, which only does one here, pushing us on along. I think I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig twice and lay some track. All of these, that's uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of rubble, or lumber, and I'm going to lay two pieces, no, only one, one piece of track. Darn, I thought I could get away with doing two, but I forgot the work rate is only on one, so that's one. Uh, would help to do with an ownership cube and not a piece of coal, so that's one piece of steel bar. Yeah, I've really got to keep an eye out for more contracts that give points for track, because I've got to, oh, 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 nice. Oh, ooh. ooh oh, oh. Oh, teasing me. All right. So, this goes back. Go to our draw bag, which is getting pretty light again. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, oh, oh. Terrible. Terrible. All right. Another station complete. That would be up here. Spitzing. Then we dig out two cards, so Blackstein and this piece of track. And finally, laying a piece of track. Ah, oh, darn, I was hoping to get that six pointer. All right, back into the bag. Well, I will definitely get an extra man. And I am definitely getting a contract, although which one remains to be seen. I am certainly going to be gathering some resources. And I am sorely tempted to lay another piece of track. Hmm. You know, I got so much I want to do, I am not going to complain about it. I'm going to spend another coal to get my fourth worker. And I am definitely building... And I think I might even build twice, just to squeeze the most I can out of this turn. I think I will. All right, so first I shall gather up three iron. Yes, yes, three iron. Yes, definitely. And then I am going to construct onto that nine point space over here for four rock and then I'm going to use five lumber to build into that eight point space right here that's that builder and finally ah, now I gotta make a decision don't I uh, I think I'm gonna do it I think I'm going to grab this guy it's the smallest one. I still need one more to fulfill the two contracts that I have, which means that I will have to do at least three more. Ooh, which means that I have to get every track in the game. Ooh. Maybe I didn't think this through so well after all. What the heck? I'm going for it. Go big or go home. So, see what the weather does. More fog on the way. And we go to the bag. All right, bag, be my friend. Oh, yes, we're on speaking terms. Yes, very good. Ah, well, it's not terrible. So. Station is complete. Up here. 
All right, I'm going to grab some more resources and I'm going to convert. That was a difficult decision. So I will get three iron for this guy. Then with this guy, I am going to convert these six into two bars. And I will convert five more wood, which gives me an extra man. Hmm. Do I want to do it again? I certainly could. It's important that any lumber that's outside of my mill at the end of the game won't be available for use on contracts. So with that in mind, I am definitely sending five more up and using the weight to get my fourth worker. All right, end of the round. Now we do our draw. And this draw is going to be pretty critical here. Things will be good after this. Oh, man. Oh, this is good, good, good. I am certainly going to gather everything that I possibly can. Oh, as much wood as I can. I am definitely laying a track. And my last guy will get more resources. So, yes, I will get a coal and two stone. I will then clear out lumber. I get eight pieces. So that's three, four, five, claim that, six, seven, eight. More lumber, raw lumber. And I'm going to lay one piece of track here. So, mine. All right. Looks like the fog is going to roll in. That could be bad because... I won't be able to lay track while that's happening. All right, fog. So, we cannot excavate or lay track. That's well, nothing to be done about it. So now we go to the bag. Oh, oh, well, that, I get another turn, but it did kind of ruin my plan. So, all right, the last spaces, one, two, three, are all excavated, or cleared out, I guess, in this case, which means that we're going to have another build action now. And the game will lay one piece of track. So that's con that contract pretty much burnt away. What am I saying? I've got plenty of track. Ah. I could have even gone for the five. Ah, oh well. All right, you guys all go back to the bag. And we figure out what I'm going to do. All right, well, I'm going to spend a coal to get my extra worker. I am definitely going to be building at least once. I believe I will be gathering more. And I might even be doing it again. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I can build down here too. I think I'm gonna gather again, and then we'll see what happens with the draw. So first, I will gather with my first guy. I will get a coal and two iron. Then I will gather with my second man. I will get another coal. And, you know, I think instead of that, I will get one, and then I will get Two more stone here. So I see lots of high, high point stone spaces. Ooh, in fact, in fact, so many. <laughs> Heck with it. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to build. And I'm going to build into the highest stone space I can find. Looks like it would be four pieces of stone for nine points up here. Very good. All right. Do and we go to the bag and see what happens here. Should be interesting. Ow. That's oh, more interest than I like. All right. So our first event 
completes this station. Our next event does nothing, which is good. I'm definitely spending one coal for another worker. Do I want to do it again? It's getting so close to the end of the game, I think I will. So that's four workers this round. Two of them are probably going to go off to gather some more resources. One of them is going to build. And one of them is probably going to convert. Let's see if I can't throw some cubes back into that bag. Well, I think I'm going to change my mind. Instead of gathering, I'm going to build two more times. I will first build. And I am going to spend my two iron bars to build into this big 12-point space down here. I will then convert as much wood as I possibly can. I will. I will do 10 wood, which will give me both of my workers next round. That's this guy finished. And so I'm going to build again. And I'm definitely going to build into a spot that requires wood. So here's three. So I will spend three lumber to build into the spot for six points. And I could do another three over there, but there's a seven point. There's actually two seven points for three rocks, so I will do that. I will spend three rock for seven points. All right, and that's that. I will get four workers next turn. And let's do the weather. All right, I would swear I just shuffled this thing. All right. More sun, which gets rid of the fog, and improves the work rate. On to the bag, which I think might, it won't quite end the game, but oh, actually no, Ooh, if I do get an event cube, it will end the game this turn, won't it? Oh, it did, all right, so. Uh, so I'm going to get one more round, but both of these tracks have been laid. At least one was a zero. I don't feel too bad about losing that. Well, I may not use it all, but I'm going to put everybody to work. So, gather, gather, build, grab a contract. So let's bring them on home. Going to gather up three stone, and then another three stone, and then I'm going to build... And I'm going to build into this spot with two of those stone here, which is the last building space in the game. And I will grab this contract, which I think I have just enough for, which leaves me with uh, one wasted ownership cube, which is pretty good for me. All right, now we total up the points and see how I did. I had 67 points from my stations. 25 points from track. I managed to fulfill all of my contracts, and that was 74 points total. Uh, zero bonus points from my trains, zero bonus points for the surveyor, although since he was an extra worker, we should probably add the extra points that he got me for being a worker, uh, which gave me a whopping total of 166. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think I did a good job in this one. I only had one ownership cube left over. I didn't miss out on too much track. I suppose I could have done better, perhaps, but you can always do a little bit better. I had a lot of wood left over, so I probably could have grabbed another contract that would have used that up. But, uh, yeah, that was good. I, I like this scenario. It's a lot of fun. Um, having four workers is just huge. It's so much different than having only two workers or three workers. I would definitely recommend this scenario to anyone, even though it's a little bit more complicated than the, the base game. But uh, still, it's, it's definitely worth giving it a shot if you haven't already, so uh, go out there and play it. I'm Zorch. This was my Snowdonia experiment. I hope you enjoyed it, and safe travels.